Okay, we need to solve this equilibrium problem. Uh, we're given the equation. We're given the equilibrium constant. So, of course, we would remember that N2 times the concentration of O2 over the concentration of NO squared is going to equal our constant, which is given as 0 0.002. Six, zero. Okay, so um, and it also says that um, we're given uh, how much of each are mixed at the beginning. So it says here that uh, for NO we have 0 0.820 moles over one liter, so that's going to give us our molarity. But N2 and O2 we're given 0.223 moles per liter for each of those. So um, in this case, we are given amounts for reactants and products. So this causes a problem. We don't know what the change is going to be because uh, the products aren't zero. We don't know if they're going to go up or if they're going to go down. So we know there's going to need to be an X but I don't know if this is plus X or minus X. So this is the time when we use Q. And we know that if Q uh, being N2 times O2 over NO squared, we set it up the same way as KC, but then we compare it to KC. So if Q is greater than K, that means we've got too many products. We're going to go to the left. If Q is less than C, that means the bottom is greater. So that means we need to make more products. We're going to go to the right. So I'm going to go ahead and um, plug in these values. That's going to be, and I have already made a mistake. Nope, I haven't. So we're going to go ahead and plug in these values. This is going to be 0.223 times 0.223 over 0 0.820, that quantity squared. And what we end up with is uh, 0 0.0740, or 7.4 times 10 to the minus 2. So that means that Q is greater than KC. And what that means is that the top is too big. So the, uh, we need to go to the left here. That means we have too many products. So that's what has to get used up. And we have to go up with our reactant. Okay, again, we have too much products. That's why Q is greater than K. So we need to go to the left. My coefficient is 2x. And so that's how we know if what's going to be negative and what's going to be positive when we're given amounts other than zero for our products and reactants. Okay, so then at equilibrium, what we're going to have is 0 0.820 plus 2x, and then each of these are going to be 0 0.223 minus x for both of those. And we know what k is up here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Um, 0 0 .0, uh, 0 0.0260 is going to equal 0 0.223 minus x times 0 0.223 minus x, so that's squared, over 0 0.820 plus 2x, and then since that's my equilibrium, and you can see I have to square that too, so that's that gets squared because it'd be NO squared. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take the square root of both sides, and we end up with 0 0.0510 min equals... the square root here, and then 0 0.820 plus 2x on the bottom. Okay, 
uh, go ahead and distribute, but x equals uh, 0.164 molar after I solve for x. Okay, now, um, x doesn't really help us in, in the answer. I mean, it's helpful, but that's not the answer. We have to figure out what all these concentrations are. So, and we need to label that. So make sure we do that. So O2 at equilibrium is going to equal N2 at equilibrium. These are going to be equal. And that's going to equal 0.223 minus X or 0.223 minus 0.164. Uh, we cannot have a negative number. If we have a negative number, then we would have a, a big problem. So that comes out to be 0.058 molar, and it's very clear. You can see that it, in fact, went down. So that's my concentration at equilibrium of O2 and N2. And then the concentration of nitrogen monoxide is equal to 0.8 to 0 plus 2x, so that's going to equal 0 0.820 plus 2 times 0.164, that was the x we solved for, and that equals 1.15 molar. Okay, so uh, the important thing is when we're given values for everything, we don't know what's going to go up and what's going to go down. That's when we need to use Q. If Q is greater than K, that means we have too many products, so we need to go down or make the negative X here on the product side in order to establish equilibrium. If Q was less than K, we would need to get rid of reactants, so this would be negative and this would be positive. And then we just go ahead and solve it um, using the k values that were given. It's important, though, not to just stop at x, but make sure you solve for the values that you're asked for.